Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, September 18th, through this coming Sunday, September 24th, 2017. This week on Wednesday, September 20th, we have the new moon in Virgo, earthy, cerebral Virgo that must focus on details, flaws, and weak spots with careful vigilance and analysis. And this allows us to examine the truth of what fills our life. Using this Virgo new moon to detox our experiences and relationships will serve us well, because if we are to live the best version of our dreams and desires, that highest potential of our happiness, we must up our game and increase our standards so they reflect our sense of self-worth. And we do this by defining our priorities and choosing our steps consciously and being extremely aware of the energy that we are inviting into our personal spaces. So examine what fills your life. What's not working? What's not living up to your standards? And what might we try? What might we be be trying? (laughs) What might we be trying to make work that's actually not a good fit? Paying attention to these things in your life. And it's like any good detox. Flush out the harmful, deteriorating elements and replace them with life-affirming, nourishing things that feed your soul with heart-based goodness. Cut through any confusing debris and strip away any layers that are muffling your inner voice. Allow that inner voice that's connected to your higher self to rise clear as a bell to the surface of your consciousness. And please eliminate drama. What you are seeking to do with this Virgo new moon is your most clean, efficient, simplistic, crystal clear path to the objects of your desires that match with the voice of your higher self and your soul's intentions. Allow Virgo's new moon to help you dissect and pull apart all that you question. Anything that's not a comfort zone in your life is up for scrutiny. You are peeling away the layers of all that doesn't reflect and represent your self-worth to expose the pure, clear pool of goodness you wish to experience. And Venus is also entering Virgo along with the new moon. And Venus will be in the sign of Virgo until October 14th. So pay attention to how your relationships also need to shift. And these are your relationships with people and also with money. Venus is going to help you inject beauty and love and pleasure into your dreams. What do you value? What do you cherish? And how are you making sure your priorities influence each choice that you make? This is how you're going to move forward and allow your self-worth to be a part of your highest potential. All right, Angel Tarot, Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine. And let's see what we got this week. Starting with emotions. Okay. (laughs) All right, I'm going to go over each one of these cards. The Five of Air and the Three of Air have been dogging us this month. So let's see where their meaning is this week. All right. Go over each one to give you a meaning that you can use to your highest potential for the energy of this week. Ah, yes, we're starting with the emotional connection. The queen, she's solutions. 
emotional solutions, reminding you that you are tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, <laughs> whether you realize it or not, and loving. So this is those relationships that are kicking up to another level. This is the influence of Venus in Virgo along with the new moon in Virgo. Entering, Venus enters Virgo the same day that the new moon does. So that's very powerful energy for your relationships and uh, trusting your intuition. And we've got the High Priestess here in two more cards. So this is also a week of very much realizing that your intuition is trustworthy and it's reliable, so pay attention. Care for yourself first, <laughs> so then you can care for others. Very much emotional balance for you there. And allowing emotional solutions to help you in your relationships. And I like this relationships developing to a new level because the guides are saying things are shifting with your relationships. Venus is going to allow shift. So that's important energy to emphasize. And then, yes, I feel the Three of Air has been following us in September. This card, for your expansion, and Air is knowledge and intellect, you need to realize something has ended. Something's finished. Something is not going to be revived. <laughs> and instead of just wallowing in the sadness, because sadness equals you focusing on lack, if you're focusing on feeling like you've lost something or there's something lacking in your life, then that's what's creating the sadness. And that's actually just sort of wasting your energy. Instead, you need to shift your energy to how you want to heal and what you want to look forward to next. And realizing that nothing is ever lost. It's either experiences that have added to your wisdom and your knowledge to help you move forward, or it's energy. And energy is always there for you, even if it shifts perspective. Energy, you know, people pass and pets pass, but their energy still remains. And that is available to you in a loving way. So this is also very much a card of forgiveness. And forgiveness is sort of a complicated, complicated theory because it's not about the person getting away with something that they did. It's about you recognizing that we are all spiritual beings having a human experience. And in this human experience, we're playing characters and we're acting out, you know, plays, the theater. So in that context, you are forgiving the character for how the character hurt you. And the soul, spiritual energy of that person is still in place and it has nothing to do with their personality. Personalities are just things that we try on in each lifetime. It's like getting a new car and we drive that car for a while and then we get another car and we try that. So... It's all fluid and it's important for you to forgive yourself first if you're beating yourself up for any involvement in something that's brought you great sadness. You must realize that that was part of your lessons and growth on your blueprint, but it's not supposed to permanently drown you or derail you. You're supposed to keep moving and rise above these things, pulling the goodness, pulling the lessons, pulling the growth out of it to help you move forward. Expansion, the three of expansion. And the high priestess, <laughs> she's just right along with this energy. Yeah, two, bringing things to you. The high priestess is your intuition. And it's trusting your intuition and Trusting that you are being given guidance and that you've never been abandoned, that you are surrounded all the time by spirit guides and angels and loved ones and entities of the highest white light that are devoted to making your life the most wonderful experience possible. They understand your soul's intentions and your blueprint 
and all the things that you want from your higher self. So allowing that guidance to assist you and having a bit of patience. <laughs> I know that's hard for a lot of people, but if you just breathe and you tell your guides, thank you for perfect timing. Because anytime you try to manipulate outcomes and manipulate time and control things, you're shutting down energy. And when you shut down energy, nothing's going to happen. Then you're going to fall into analyzing and <laughs> all these things that take your attention away from where you should be focusing, which is where you want to end up. What are your desired outcomes? What's one step I could take today that will bring me to my desired outcome? And the High Priestess and Archangel Haniel will help you to consider carefully what you want and each choice and action that you should take to stay on that directed path. Life is a series of choices. So making sure that you're making the best ones is important. And here's the Five of Air. I think we've also had this card <laughs> maybe more than once this month. So along with the Three of Air, they're trying to help us focus in where we might not be making the best choices that we could for our goodness and learning from situations, paying attention, you know, to a, 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 blah, blah, blah. allowing Virgo in this new moon to help you focus in on the details and the flaws and the minutiae of what you need to understand so you don't repeat mistakes or you don't go down the same empty paths that are not bringing you the goodness that you want and looking between the lines you know to understand the meaning of situations and other people's motives so you don't keep repeating the same things that aren't going to serve you this is very much of doing the work to remove conflict from your life and to shift yourself out of repeating patterns that don't serve you so pay attention to your choices they lead you where you're going. Nine of air. <laughs> if you want a buzzword for this card, it's stop analyzing. This is the card of too much analyzing. And analyzing, again, wastes energy. If you are expecting bad things to happen, then you're doing <laughs> exactly that. You're creating negative energy around a situation or a person that's going to fulfill if you keep focusing there. What you focus your energy on, you're creating. It's amazing energy. And if you haven't done any Law of Attraction work, then now is the time that you need to Google Law of Attraction and you need to look into Abraham and things like that that will help you pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to where you're focusing so you do not create too much analysis which just keeps you awake at night and blocks the path of your goodness. A little bit of analysis is okay for healthy, healthy reasons. And I know that analysis being <laughs> overanalyzing is a part of a lot of people's personalities. But don't get lost in it. It's just a you endless circle of, of not getting anywhere. So pay attention to what you are creating with your thoughts and your actions. Are they in alignment? Go back, you know, rewind and listen to the beginning of this video again to help you understand bringing your self-worth forward, bringing your alignment to your desires, and living your highest potential. That's where your energy needs to be focused. And the king of, king of fire, motivational, enthusiastic. So they're talking to me about confidence <laughs> and enthusiasm and um, opportunities for your abilities. Yeah, opportunities because of your abilities. And don't be impulsive. Go ahead and be wise. Think through your choices again. It's a big theme in all these cards. Think about your choices and your decisions and the steps that you're taking. 
Make sure that they are enthusiastically leading you where you want to go. Focus. Focus, focus on what it is you want to create and, and the words that you use to communicate. Make them the creative visionary ones. Inspire others with your creativity. That's what this energy is all about. And if you feel that you just can't tap into that, then seek out someone else who has those attributes of optimism and enthusiasm and inspires you to help you, you know, understand your creative ideas and how you're going to use them in your life to bring happiness to you and to others. It's very important energy. Um, yeah, they're just, they're going back to weigh your decisions. Pay attention. Do what's right for you. For your self, highest self-esteem and self-worth and your happiest outcomes. We finally got a money card here. <laughs> this is uh, ebb and flow of money. Money in, money out. They show like uh, choppy waves. So we have the ups and we have the downs. But in the end, it all balances out. So if you feel like too much is going on at once, just take a deep breath and tap into money abundance. Money is energy like air water, sunlight, and food. We need all five of those things to live on earth. And often we attach way too much importance to money. So allow money to be the same as water and air. It flows when you turn on the top and it fills your lungs with air when you take a deep breath. And it's readily available, you expect it to be there. Money is the same energy. <laughs> The need to make a decision. <laughs> if you didn't get it earlier, they're making sure. I love it. Yes, what are your choices? What are your decisions? Allow Venus in Virgo to help you pay attention to the details of what brings you pleasure and happiness. And allow that to influence your desire of how you want money to flow and any money decisions that you need to make. It's all about lightening up and allowing things to be a little bit more playful and fun. It doesn't have to be so heavy. You know, the playful approach raises the energy around money and allows you to see it in a more abundant way. Ace of, well, Ace of Fire, pulling directly off this King of Fire. This is, the seeds are sprouting, things are blooming, the ideas that you've been planting are now going to sprout. Aces are beginnings and fire is take action on that beginning because you have all of these exciting new um, ex ex opportunities and you're on the right path. And it's this is new journey, new love, new opportunities, all unfolding for you, all at the beginning. So how do you want that to flow? Pay attention to your thoughts and your actions and the choices and decisions that you're making, that they are in alignment with what you've planted and they are in alignment with where you, your, those desired outcomes, where you want to end up. Everything advancing and it's shifting. Shift and change for new opportunities and new advancement and positive change. It's enthusiasm and passion for all these new opportunities. And absolutely the new phase that puts your creative ideas to work. So join with that king of fire and define your creative ideas and get help with your creative ideas. And don't be impulsive, <laughs> but use your enthusiasm and your confidence to allow those creative ideas to build. The sprouting to mature into solid growth. And this is the card of embarking on your journey. Six is faith and trust and love and air again, knowledge and intellect. Oh, I love this energy. Here you are, <laughs> the white unicorn in your boat that's just going down the river and leaving behind all this stuff that was confusing and you weren't sure what to do with it. And where you're headed is calm and it's safe and it's interesting, 
and it's invigorating and it's in alignment with what you want to experience. So realizing that yes, things are looking up and that your difficult situations have ended. Take a trip, the marker card for travel, which is nice. And allow yourself to embark on the journey. The water is falling away, which means the emotions are falling away. So you can feel the faith and the trust and the love of how to move forward. You know, the emotions are in all those layers that are clouding what it is you want to really experience. And, you know, to remove the drama, very, very important, to allow you to embark on the journey of your life. This is your life. It's time for you to live it. And it's exciting. So, <laughs> I love all this make decisions, make choices, positive choices in alignment to your heart's greatest desires and happiness. And if you are stuck or confused or having trouble with forgiveness or negative energy or anything in your life that you are not understanding, please contact me for a reading and we will call in your guides and clear your energy and examine anything that may be blocking you or anything from the past that you haven't processed that you're, you know, we can help you let, you know, get rid of that, let go of it and give you answers and clarity and understanding and guidance and direction and support for what's coming next and, and what you're looking forward to. Get you into alignment for your greatest happiness and to realize all those desired outcomes that you want to experience. All the information for getting a reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.